Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. Hope everyone is staying safe and keeping well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the web policies in Umbrella SIG, right? As a follow up and a continuation of the SASE use case. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you first how to configure the destination list where we want to block access to, to prevent accidental download of sample malware. Show you how to configure the rule set, and then configure a rule and add it to the rule set. Last but not least, right to help protect HTTPS or SSL encrypted uh, link, I'll show you how to import a umbrella certificate into the Firefox browser. Right, you need to look at the manual for other browser or if you want to import the uh, certificate or the root CA into a Windows system or a Mac OS. Now for more detailed configuration, you can look at the umbrella design guide in the official website. So now let's hop over to the umbrella dashboard. So as you can see, um, I have configured and deployed more uh, network and client to my setup. In continuation to the secure edge use case, I'm going to show you how to block, you know, web access uh, through the active network tunnel. So let's start off with just going through a little bit of the basic. So if I look at what is my IP.com, you can see that I am connected to the Cisco Melbourne IP address, right? Even though I am from Singapore itself. Next, I'm going to show you how to block a subdomain of the website abuse.ch. So without configuring any rules, you can go into this website, right? It is a website uh, that claims to be uh, a place where you can download sample malware, right? So if you if we open up this a little bit more, you can see that over here, there is a malware bazaar that you can download sample malware, right? So what we're going to do is to show you in this tutorial how you can allow access to the main domain and block potentially malicious domain. Of course, in a normal situation, I would recommend for production environment, just block the whole abuse.ch so that you do not uh, allow your employees or you know engineer to accidentally access this website. Right? However, uh, just to show how you can customize or create a custom web policies, I'm going to just uh, block this uh, bazaar.abuse.ch. Okay, so with that, first what you want to do is to go over to policies. Next, the first step that you want to do in this uh, tutorial is to configure the destination list. So let's click on destination list. Next, click on add over here. Give it a meaningful name. So I'm going to block. Okay, the destination list is bazaar abuse ch. Right. One important thing to take note: you want to make sure that you change this DNS policies to select the web policies. Okay, next we're going to copy the URL here and paste it into the link. So you can see we have added bazaar.abuse.ch here. Click on save. You have created a destination list over here and you can see that it is applied to web policies. Now next, what you're going to do is to go over to web policies. 
and then click on add over here first thing you want to do is maybe to change the rule set name okay blocking malware sample websites okay click on save by default you can see that the rule set identities there are zero identities let's click on it so since we are doing the secure tunnel configuration we want to add in the tunnel into the identity list click on save you'll see that currently three identities three identities have been selected now you can look at the menu and go through the various features that allows you to further protect your setup right so we have configured the rule sets settings configuration next we'll add a rule over here so click on add rule right we'll select the action as block you can choose allow warn or isolate next click on add identity we can select the network tunnel here or in our case we can easily just inherit the identities from the rule set settings click on apply right we'll have set the rule set identities as the identities or source next we'll select the destination you can do more than just blocking the destination list you can block applications uh, filter by content category such as alcohol blocking alcohol content or in our case destination list right so we're going to select net destination list and then click on bazaar abuse ch right select that and click on apply do remember to click on save right to save the rule okay once it's saved you'll see you'll see that the rule is currently gray out right so remember after configuring a rule you need to enable the rule over here click on enable rule it'll give you a prompt right to ask you whether you want to update the rule click on update right you can see that it will change into black right which is enabled click on close right you'll see that it's being updated with the identities right and you can see that over here the identities are using the rule sets identity and then we have configured one destination now click on close right it takes a while for it to refresh to show you what are the uh, applied to rules okay once that is done let's go back to our website okay let's close this to make sure we clear the cache and then open a new private browser right if you notice i have not shown you how to import the certificate yet but just to give you an idea that you know uh, without the certificate i can still go into abuse.ch because i've not blocked that but if i go over and click on the malware bazaar you'll see that secure connection fail so effectively the rule is in place however because of uh, you know not having the https inspection you get this error right so what you need to do to fix a https inspection capability first let's go back to uh, the rule set and then click on https inspection edit button click on edit right we want to decrypt block traffic only right so you can do a lot more but for this tutorial we'll click on this and you can see that once you say once you put down there decrypt block traffic only to do further, further analysis you will prompt you that you need to uh, have a root certificate enabled or imported into your certificate store in your endpoint so we're going to click on view root certificate it'll bring you to the umbrella or the cisco root certificate authority and click on download right save the file okay once it's completed you can go back to the web policy and then click on https inspection again let's click on decrypt block traffic only and click on save you can see that it is enabled right so the next step we need to do right if you come back here and you try to access the website it will still prompt you that you know there is a secure connection failed 
So what you want to do is to go over to the menu here and then click on settings. Right, scroll all the way down, click on private, privacy and security, and then scroll all the way down. Okay, over here, you'll see certificates, click on view certificates. Next, click on import, and then import your, the root certificate that we have downloaded. Okay, you can trust this CA to identify websites, right? We're not doing anything for email, so we'll leave it at this, right? Click on OK and then click on OK. So you would have imported the certificate into Firefox. So what we're going to do now is just close the browser, right? And then open a new browser. Okay, before we test out the website, let's just make sure that we flush the DNS by typing in ipconfig slash flush DNS. Just make sure that we clear all the necessary DNS requests and cache. Okay, once that's done, we'll go back to abuse.ch. You can see that we can still access the main page. However, now if we click on the Malware Bazaar, you can see that we have successfully blocked access to the website from any of the tunnel right, that is going to the internet from any of your branch. Right, so that's very much uh, what I have to share or, you know, in this video. So stay tuned for the future video where we can look at uh, the CASB or the DLP policy. Okay, so in the meantime, do stay safe and continue to, you know, uh, take care of yourself. We'll stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Bye.